Well, a very good morning from Dino Days. It's very early and this is Mod Fixes FN2 in for lots of mechanicals today. So it'll be on the ramp and we'll be speaking to Rich and Jeno and seeing how we get on. So uh, let's move some stuff about. Well, there's plenty to move about and then we'll crack on with it. Well, mod fixes car. It's in bits, Rich. What's going on? What are you doing today? Oh, a bit of uh, bit of fettling today. Bit of fettling. Uh, it's in for today the FD2 oil pump. So obviously the balance shaft elite, as people might call it. Yeah. But obviously, place the oil pump, uh, and it's in for the oil pump chain, which obviously you have to change with the pump, um, and doing the timing chain at the same time. Fantastic. And that baffled some. And the baffled some. Yeah. Uh, generally, why do people make those mods? Um, with the FN2, they have a balance shaft on the oil pump, and they obviously say that that costs a certain amount of power to drive that pump, basically. Uh, so they look at obviously deleting that pump and swapping it to a, you know, so sort of basically like a normal oil pump without the sure. balance shaft to free up some power. How true exactly that is, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it might be worth tomorrow, because we've mapped this car and obviously it's done previously. We are only changing the chain in the pump today, so it might be worth doing a run in the morning and seeing what Overlaying it. Overlaying it and seeing if it actually does make a physical difference. I'd be interested to see that for sure. So what is the process? So I can see, obviously. So what, yeah. what, what happens first? Well, pretty much, obviously, you've got to take, obviously, stuff off to gain access. So at the minute, uh, Jensen's took the under tray off, he's drained the oil out, he's took the scuttle panel off, he's removed the rock cover. So they're basic things to obviously start off with. Um, we're going to have to remove things obviously like engine mounts, the side engine case and obviously the sump's going to come off and go through. But I think what we'll probably do is we'll go through that as we do each section. So once we've got it stripped and we've got that set piece out, we'll go about what things to look out for and, and what to and how to time it back up and stuff and okay. move forward from there. Do you want to show us what's in the boxes that we're... Yeah, I can show you. Okay, so Richard's un unpackaging some I'm things. Out. So, so these are genuine Honda parts? These are genuine Honda parts. So this is a FD2 oil pump. Um, you can't obviously you're not going to see the, the necessary differences uh, in this what we'll do is when we get the old unit out we'll obviously show you the difference between the two okay uh, but you get an oil pump you obviously get a different baffle plate because the oil pump is a different shape uh, you get a tensioner a chain and a guide for the oil pump in that kit again genuine Honda's Honda yeah they're kit. all genuine parts we've got a uh, available on the website by the way guys we've got a clockwise uh, sump baffle to go back in Ooh. when we're done so they may possibly want to do a track day or whatever. So yeah. we've got that to fit as well when, we, when, we do, when we're doing that. Uh, and then we're going to fit, which I haven't got here right now, so in the office, is the chain and guides. Uh, but that's just general, again, a standard FN2 stuff. Yeah, and again, genuine parts, isn't it? Yeah, so Okay, parts. so we'll check back when we've got some parts to lay out next to each other. Yeah. And uh, yeah, keep going. All right. Oh, cool. Yeah, I think. Okay. Well, that won't run. That won't run like that. <laughs> Def definitely won't, wait, won't run for long. <laughs> right, uh, where yeah. are we up to? So basically, uh, side casing off, uh, timing chain obviously removed, uh, the original oil pump, or sump removed, the original oil pump removed, the original chain and tensioner for the oil pump removed. So that's pretty much what it looks like when everything's off. Yeah. So that's gone, that's gone pretty well getting all of that off this morning so far. Yeah. Well, uh, Where's the bits that are going back on then? They will lie here as well. Let's have a look. Okay, so what we got here then? This is the new part. That's yeah, going this on. is the FD2 oil pump. And maybe like an EP3 style oil pump as well, basically, or very, very similar to that. Um, and this is obviously the original. Obviously, you can see the size differences there. Well, it, this whole it, thing? Yeah, this is the oil pump. But obviously, what this has is the balance shaft in it. So you've got the oil pump shaft, which is this shaft, which is driven. And then this is your balance shaft. So when they're talking about deleting the balance shaft, that's what they're talking about. Whilst it's all one assembly, it's doing that. So what they're saying is the reason that you would make more power from this, or the reason that they do that, yeah. is because you're not driving that second shaft. Got you. Uh, so that creates drag and therefore costs power. So that's what they, they talk about when they say deleting that would make more power. Um, the main reason, in my opinion, that you would do this is, is so that you can fit that baffled sum. Because obviously you can't fit that, or you can't fit that baffle with this pump, because Got obviously yeah. due to the size of it. So that is the main reason for me why I would fit it. It wouldn't necessarily be for proof of gains, but we will test that tomorrow when we run the car. Yes, because that's the plan, isn't it? We're going to dyno it. Yeah. Okay. So I think we'll, we'll come back to that when we've got some bits bolted back on. Right, yeah. Okay, Richard, we're back underneath the FN2. We are. What are you showing me? Uh, just something I want to talk about first, because it gets covered up and you don't see it. 
basically the uh, balance shaft has an oil feed hole basically to feed okay. that so obviously it's got oil um, you have to remove that little cap that you've just seen there out from that point there and then basically that bolt screws back in there and blanks that off um, obviously to stop loose loss of oil pressure basically because it would normally obviously be going into the pump and serving a purpose yeah. obviously now that the pump's not going to be there then you'd be losing oil pressure through that for no reason okay and that's in the kit that's in the kit yeah radio right, yeah. so that's quite important then yeah so that's just the first bit of before you start obviously bolting the pump up and windage trays and that sort of thing it's uh, okay. the first thing you got to do good stuff okay rich so that's definitely the sump it is and uh, that just drops in there does it yeah it's just a drop in the back one. Uh, okay nice little windows on it so, and that's to stop the oil splishing and splashing around in the bottom no, it's to keep oil around the pickup point. Got ya. So on a long sweeping bend? Yeah, you don't lose the oil across the pan and then obviously have oil starvation. Excellent. Obviously we cleaned the sump up, cleaned it out, cleaned up the mating surface as well, obviously everything on one ceiling. Yeah. Uh, so that's all done and, and sorted. Uh, obviously that's what, how that sits in there. Obviously when we lift the sump up into position, the pickup pipe will push down on that piece there and spin that round. Yeah. And obviously run it around the thing so it obviously doesn't fall off. Uh, and the oil pump's in. The oil pump's in, the chain's on, the guide's in. Okay, let's have a look at the oil pump. So there she is, yeah. You can see the new tray. Yeah, so obviously you've, we've put the bolt in and torqued that down for the uh, to blank off the oil way. We've got a new windage tray, obviously new oil pump, new chain, new guide, new tensioner. There it is. So that's in place. We'll uh, go for refitting the sump next. Uh, and then we'll move on to the chain. Okay. So actual time the chain itself. Okay, so chain's back on. Yeah, so the main chain is back on. To be fair, I did want to go into a little bit more depth with that, but unfortunately we're all... Uh, a very busy. Very busy, and uh, people obviously coming in and out and whatever, so we didn't get quite a chance to do that. Um, but yeah, so obviously we've put the time, new timing chain on, new guides, new tensioner, uh, talks everything to spec, obviously uh, put the side casing back on, um, bottom pulley back on, coolant line, the VVT sensor in the side, basically pretty much built everything back yeah. up. Uh, Gents is sort of really at the point now where he's going to get the engine mount back in, we're going to get the new set of plugs in there which yeah. Morfix asked us to put in. Um, at that point we're going to leave the engine dry overnight, uh, okay. just for the simple fact that we've obviously had a lot of casings off, had the sump off, had the side casing off, and I want the sealer fully go off so it obviously doesn't have any water. Uh, oil leaks and problems with as such like i mean some people put it on and they're happy to fire it straight up generally i like to try and leave it overnight if it's possible obviously if someone needs to needs a car and wants to take it well then we've got no choice but if we can leave it overnight mod fixes took the courtesy car anyway so we can leave it overnight and put some oil in it in the morning fantastic but uh, we'll get some uh, footage when it's complete okay S saturday morning <laughs> saturday morning yeah well we did what we said we were going to do yesterday so we've got everything back on the car and let the sealer go off obviously overnight. Uh, did do <clears throat> a little bit of something different here uh, because he'd got his lovely little cap for his hybrid racing dipstick. Hybrid racing dipstick. Um, we tried, we looked at the marks, and the marks didn't basically line up to what the uh, FD2 dipstick lined up to. Uh, so basically, we took the stick out of an FD2 and then obviously put that into the hybrid racing one. So that's actually now accurate and correct. Much lovely. Yeah, so you could obviously keep that because apparently they're expensive. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, obviously, as you can see, it's all back together and done. So we're just going to fire it up and see what, uh, see what it's out of. Oh, just pointed out that Jeno's put oil in. Mm. Oh, yeah, he has. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, Jeno has put oil in. <laughs> Beautiful, Bernard. There we go. Well, we'll get it on the dyno then and we'll... Uh, yeah, up on the dyno and see if we can overlay the last time to this time. Yeah. Okay. So it's up on the dyno and our Jensen is busily strapping it down. We've got a previous figure that we can overlay on the dyno and see if we've got some results.
Okay, so mod fix. This is such a nice car. It's actually very red. Very red and very low mileage, 63,000. Beautiful example. Mm, so like, like, is. like him. <laughs> yeah, beautiful <laughs> example of a man. He is a great, great looking fella. Right, um, yeah, so we have done an FD2 balance shaft. Yeah, I mean, obviously you guys have already been watching the video anyway, so you've seen what we've done. But yeah, FD2 to... Quickly recap, FD2 oil pump with chain and guides, uh, main chain and guides. Uh, and that's pretty much it on this car. So oil and filter, obviously, as well. Spark plugs. The, and we did a set of spark plugs on it for him as well. Baffled sump. And a baffled sump. Uh, well, you've seen all that in the video anyway, so we've run through all that. And then me and Dan decided to complete this video. It might be nice to see if there was actually any improvements from the FD2 oil pump or not. Um, given the fact that we tuned this car pretty recently to be fair i mean okay it's not an exact comparable you know point a to point b like in other words it wasn't the same day with the same temperature and everything 100 percent. you know i'm sure there's variables there so don't flame like us. a new set of spark plugs it's not had a set for three years exactly yeah so don't uh, don't flame us too much but um the car left us on two three two last time it left us two three one and a bit yeah, yeah. one three one a bit so two three two if you want to round up slightly uh and we've done a pull on it this morning and it did two three seven so, I mean, what's claimed is around five brake. And we've sort of seen that this morning. From around six, seven upwards, it started to make power. And we saw a peak of about the last sort of 1500 RPM of around five brake. So I think that's a, a pretty good improvement. I don't think it's necessarily worth adding it to your mods list as such. But if he you wanted were, that baffled sun. Yeah, but he wanted the baffled sun. So in this instance, he wanted a baffled sun because he might he wants to do a, a track day. So I could understand that. So in that point, it, obviously, it's totally worth it. Um, and if all that's coming off, you might as well do the chain anyway. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, if yeah. you're doing all that, it's all, a lot it's of all it's part of it. preventative maintenance. Yeah, a lot of it's preventative maintenance. But I don't know whether I necessarily want to do all that just to make the five brake horsepower. But if I don't think, that like I say, this wasn't done for that reason. It's just that's been a happy byproduct mm. of it. Um, but yeah, all in all, I think we, we're we going to try and cover the workshop a little bit more. I know we talked about this and hence this is why we've tried to do this demo with the video. So let us know if you like the, uh, this the workshop, format, this yeah. format or this workshop. This is what we really want to be doing. We want to be doing the build up to going on the dot out. In, in most circumstances, we now be tuning, mm. um, but we want to do the build up. So even if it's fitting an induction kit and a manifold and then up on the dyno, uh, for the map section. That's what we want to do. That's, it's the way we want to take the videos. They're going to be slightly longer. So hopefully you guys still stick around. But yeah. uh, do you want yeah, to have a look? But certainly, let, uh, let us know in the comments. Yeah, yeah, well, please if, it, do. if it's something that you like. Uh, and we'll start trying to do some more of it. Yeah. But let's have a look at this graph. Let's do that. Okay, the graph. So as we always say, red line is as she came in, blue line is as she leaves. You can see a bit of an improvement there. As Richard said, it's worth about five brake horsepower. So finish it on 237.1. So uh, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, guys. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. Code word for this video is Modfix, which is that man just there. Um, go and follow Modfix's channel. I'm pretty sure on YouTube it's at Modfix. So go and follow him. He's a great guy doing lots of FN2 content. Uh, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy him. So we'll see you all on the next one. Boy, I'll say it again. Play was pretty fast.